This is a demonstration of Boyle's Law. Here's the setup. In the setup, I have a balloon inside a bell jar. The bell jar is connected to a vacuum pump. Look what happens when I start pumping the air out of the bell jar. The balloon starts to grow. It's not growing because it's being inflated. The balloon's tied off. It has the same amount of air in it now as it had at the beginning of the experiment. It's expanding, however, because the pressure inside the bell jar is decreasing. Okay, the pump has stopped pumping because the balloon now blocks the intake. So I'm going to let the air back into the bell jar. Notice that the balloon gets smaller again. Why? Because as air goes into the bell jar, the pressure increases. Remember what Boyle's Law says. Pressure times volume is constant. So as I start pumping air out of the bell jar, the pressure inside the bell jar goes down. Well, the gas inside the balloon, then, is experiencing lower pressure. Since it's experiencing lower pressure, its volume must increase to keep the product of pressure and volume constant. When I let air back into the bell jar, the pressure that the balloon experiences increases, and so volume must decrease in order to keep P times V the same. Now, what just happened there was not Boyle's Law. The balloon just popped.